hey guys, we're in night one, and I'm talking about BlizzCon. Now, for those of you who don't know, BlizzCon is the event usually happens yearly, and it's for Blizzard, which is owned by Activision. They're the people behind StarCraft and like Warcraft and Diablo. But this year, they've completely canceled it, and even if it d they do it virtually, it won't be till the beginning of next year, they said. So, why is that? That's so weird, because a lot of things have been canceled physically, but a lot of people are still doing virtual versions of themselves. Yes, E3 has been canceled completely, so why wouldn't they do that, I wonder? But I really do think it, it's for the best that they don't have a BlizzCon this year after what happened last year, if you guys remember, with the whole Di Diablo Immortal, remember? where it was just announced for mobile phones, and then people were pretty mad. And Blizzard's response wasn't the best either. So it is kind of good to not have a BlizzCon this year. No need to remind people of what happened last year. Because if BlizzCon happened this year, you know people will be going in like, hey, they better have something good to announce because what happened last year, people will be going in based on what happened last year. And it's good for them to take a year off instead of having to deal with that, I think. So, it kind of makes sense, I guess. They can't do it physically. They probably would have made a lot more money if they could because I think in 2018, there were over 40,000 people to attend. And if they do do it virtually at the beginning of next year, that's fine too. Give them more time to get some more announcements together, I guess. But what do you guys think about BlizzCon being completely canceled? Not even a digital version. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and may God bless you all.